In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to be using some frankincense incense for these prayers. And I bless the incense in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, send down thy Holy Spirit on the smoke and the aromas of these incense. Receive them upon thine altar above the heavens as an odor of spiritual sweetness. Send down upon us in return the gift of your grace and thine all Holy Spirit. And to all who watch this video, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is now, and he will be forever. Amen. My name is Archimandrite Mikael of the Eastern Orthodox Church at St. Elijah the Prophet Orthodox Monastery. We are uh, Orthodox Church, Eastern Orthodox Church, from the Greek Orthodox Church out of Alexandria. And I'm going to begin the uh, prayers of exorcism here for anyone who may be suffering in their body, in their mind, in their heart, in their spirit. And I offer these prayers up for your healing and for your deliverance. Some of you may experience during these prayers strange things happening to you, angry thoughts, pains in your body, hostility. You may even experience some type of paranormal activity where you're at while you watch this video. But I would advise you to say the Jesus prayer it is a very simple prayer we pray in the Orthodox Church. And you simply say, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And you continue to pray this prayer with all your heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a very old cross. Um, I really like this cross, and so I'm going to be using this cross uh, for this exorcism. Here is the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Flee, you enemy forces, for Christ pursues you. None created the Father, none created the Son, none created the Holy Spirit. The Lion of the tribe of Judah has won. The Root of David is victorious. Hail, O Holy Cross, by which so many gifts are brought us. Make me desire what you want and send away everything that harms us. Give me strength, forgiveness, peace, and salvation. You who are my hope in life, be my protection in death. Here is the cross of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Flee, ye enemy forces, for Christ pursues you. By the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the sign of the cross, may God send away Every evil being, may they not injure the mind, and may every ghost disappear. O good cross, O worthy cross, wood exceeding every other wood cross, way of virtue, way of true salvation, cross, strength of men, that leads us towards the Lord. Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, King of kings, most high power, you who rule over everything justly and with holy measure, 
in coming from the heavens, you were born of the Holy Virgin, and over the earth the hand of Almighty God extends. After you performed holy miracles in a thousand ways, nailed to the cross, you saved the world with your blood, giving your faithful the trophy of victory with which they can defeat the tricks of the devil. I pray to you then, O Christ, who loves mankind, to reveal the nefarious works of this devil and with his very words and with his very words demonstrate his evil actions bringing out the dark passions may the people see and may they praise you forever and ever may they exalt you in the heavens and on earth as their creator you who live and reign with the father and the holy spirit Amen. Evil devil, great seducer of souls, you who with these evils promise wondrous things, this will be the end for you. They will no longer call you Lord, but you will be defeated and derided everywhere you are. I exorcise you, devil, by the power of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With the force of the Holy Spirit, by He who created you, and made you fall from the heavens, by the tremendous day of judgment, and by the ineffable name of the Lord, tell me who you are, and what your name is. Evil devil, great seducer of souls, you who with these evils promise wondrous things, this will be the end for you. They will no longer call you Lord, but you will be defeated and derided everywhere you are. By these holy names of God, and on my command, immediately depart from the creatures of God, all who will watch this YouTube video. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Without inflicting any pain or harming him or her, or any person, place, or animal in any way, immediately come out and without wounding anyone. In the name of El, Elohim, Adonai, Shaddai, Soter, Emmanuel, Oli Tetrogan, Yorhe, Volve, Yesu Hanastri, Vimalek Yahudim, Messiah, Alpha, Omega, Beginning and End, Agios, Ischiros, Otheos, Athanatos, Agla, Yehovah, Humusion, Yah, Jesus, Christ, Messiah, Alpha, Omega, Beginning, The End, Amen, Eloha, Yehe. Again, I exercise you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, O devil, whoever you are, and wherever you are, whatever form you take, all your essence, substance, and presence, I exercise by the living God, by the Nazarene, by the Word of God made flesh, born of the Virgin Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, by the true God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, by the Holy God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, by means of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, by the Blessed Virgin Mary, by all the saints and heavens, and by everything by which you can be forced and obliged, I command you, O evil spirit, to show yourself immediately and to answer all my questions. In peace. Let us pray to the Lord, Kyrie Eleison.
Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us as a light shining out of darkness. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Lastly, he showed himself to the eleven themselves while they were at table. He reproached them for their incredulity and obstinacy because they had refused to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go out to the whole world and proclaim the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place while they going out, preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied him. This is the Holy Gospel of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verse 14 to 28. He was driving out the devil, and it was dumb, and it happened that when the devil had gone out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. But some of them saith, it is through Beelzebub, the prince of devils, that he drives devils out. Others asked him as a test for a sign from heaven, but knowing what they were thinking, he saith to them, Any kingdom which is divided against itself, heading for ruin, and a house collapses against house, so too with Satan, if he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom last? You claim that it is through Beelzebub that I drive devils out. Now, if it is through Beelzebub that I drive devils out, through whom do your own sons drive them out? They shall be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I drive devils out, then the kingdom of God has indeed caught you unaware. So long as a strong man fully armed guards his own home, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than himself attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. Anyone who is not with me is against me, and anyone who does not gather in with me throws away. 
When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it wanders through waterless country, looking for a place to rest, and not finding one, it says, I will go back to the home I came from. But on arrival, finding the home swept and clean, it then goes off and brings seven other devils, more wicked than itself, and they go in and set up house there. And so that person ends up worst off than before. It happened that as he was speaking, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said, Blessed the womb that bore you and the breast that fed you. But he replied, More blessed still are those who hear the word of God and keep it. This is the gospel of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 4, 1 through 11. Wisdom, let us attend. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit out into the desert to be put to the test by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights after which he was hungry. And the tester came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to turn into loaves. But he replied, The Scripture says, Human beings live not on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The devil then took him to a holy city and set him on the parapet on the temple. And if you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down. For Scripture says, he has given his angels orders about you, that they will carry you in their arms in case you trip over a stone. But Jesus said to him, Scripture also saith, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Next, taking him to a very high mountain, the devil showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he saith to him, I will give you all of these if you fall down at my feet and do me homage. Then Jesus replied, Away with you, a Satan, for Scripture saith, The Lord your God is the one to whom you must do homage. Him alone you must serve. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels appeared and took care of him. This is the Holy Gospel of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. I exercise you in the name of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, unclean spirit, tempter, devil, lascivious enemy, inebriated and foolish, abandoned by the grace of God in Christ. I exercise you, and I condemn you, and I command you, by the power of Christ, crucified and risen from the dead, by the breath of his mouth, by the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last, 
by the sharp sword that pierces through, by the holy word of God, by the name of God, Jesus Christ, who has come in the flesh, by the grace of God and Christ, I exercise you, I put you under oath, and I command you, whoever you are, wherever you are, whether you come and go at various times, by he who came down to this earth for us in the flesh, was made flesh by the workings of the Holy Spirit, was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. Come out immediately and with no delay. Flee the body created by God and do no harm to this or any other person or any other creature, any person, animal, place, or object. I exercise you and I expel you by the power of the Nazarene, Jesus the Christ, who commands you. The Father, he commands you. The Son, he commands you. The Holy Spirit, he commands you. It is he who flags you. It is he who expels you. Be uprooted and cast out from your citadel. Be destroyed. Be vanquished by the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I exercise you in the name of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and by the Holy Spirit. By him whose coming the angel Gabriel announced when he was in the womb of Mary, I exercise you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Nazarene, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, by the breath of God, which comes forth from the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the resurrection and the life. By him who John the Baptist greeted in the womb of Mary before he was born of Elizabeth, by his name's and by all the names of Almighty God, and by His means I exorcise you, I exhort and command you, if you are in this body, to speak to me, and tell me the name of your Master, O son of perdition, fraudulent murderer, I exorcise you by Him whose sign appeared in the heavens. The shepherds saw Him, and the Magi adored Him, the angels and the archangel. Together, praise him. May he himself drive you out of this body, of all who watch this video on YouTube. And by every place you're at, every human being made in the image of Christ. And may he send you into the depths of the seas, or into the wilderness, or where no human habitation lies. And from the sky, from the earth, the air, the fire, the water, from the north, the south, the east, and west, from every place you abide, live, or take up residence. May the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, burn you. I exercise you in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Nazarene, the Messiah, the Anointed One, whom King Herod wanted to kill and could not. In his place, the holy innocent martyrs were killed, whose blood adorns the heavenly Jerusalem. I exercise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I command you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, by means of he who fled into Egypt with his mother. I exorcise you. I put you under oath. I expel you. And I condemn you to everlasting hell fire. I anathematize you. Cursed one, I exercise you by the crown of Christ and the nails that went into his hands and feet and the spear that went into his heart where came forth blood and water. I exercise you by the wood of the holy cross of Christ. I exercise you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as it is written, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. By he who at Cana turned water into wine, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, was pierced by Longinius with a spear as he cried out on the cross, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. He is the same one who went down into the hell and drew forth those who were prisoners of the devil. The third day he arose from the dead, disarming you, removing your power and taking the keys away from you, who now he holds in his hand the Lord Jesus Christ, the keys of death and Hades. It is he who went down 
and rose from the dead, and after forty days he ascended into heaven. It is he who freed the first man, Adam. May he then drive you out, heretic, fool, false one, murderer, I exhort you, by means of he, the Almighty, who from earthly parents and earthly paradise made four great rivers spring, the Pison, the Gihon, the Tigris, and Euphrates, so that you will have no authority or power to hide your name. And now immediately you will tell me who you are and who is your master, for I am the servant and the minister of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen, devil, a cursed creature, reprobate and damned by God eternally. Hear now how great is your arrogance. You have abandoned God, who generated you. You have forgotten your Creator, and for your arrogance you are condemned to eternal fire, together with Hasatan, the prince of demons, principalities, powers, rules of darkness, the beast, the false prophet, the antichrist, with Ashtoreth, with Azazel, with King Paimon, with all the devils, all as the sand of the sea, the fallen angels, with all the antichrist and unbelievers, with all the evil spirits and unclean spirits and spirits of infirmities, maladies and spirits of death, I trust in the power and strength of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Creator of the universe, while you, accursed devil and unclean Satan, adversary, highly arrogant spirit, you have perverted your election, and with scorn you have abandoned your heavenly domicile, choosing to contradict the orders of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ and refusing to convert to him, our God and Almighty Lord, three in one, before time began, who is the cause by which all creatures exist, so that in the blinking of an eye, the world could not continue if it withdrew from his dominion. You then did not want to obey God, as did instead the highly blessed spirits who enjoy his full happiness, but you were placed you were pleased with the perverse order of pride and envy. You chose your fate and that of the angels blinded by the unclean choice. And so you have fallen from the highest heavens and have fallen into this darkness. Now, on the tremendous day of judgment, the abyss and pit and hell awaits you. The second death, the lake of fire, where you will be tormented day and night and the smoke of your torments will rise forever. You are cast out by the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Ayos oteos iskiros atanatos hileis onimas. Ayos oteos iskiros atanatos hileis onimas. Ayos oteos iskiros atanatos hileis onimas. Doxa patrikea yukea gidnev matikea ninkea yikes tusionos toni onon. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made. Of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and became man. He suffered for us under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and buried, and on the third day rose again according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son he has worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. 
and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my protector. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my protector. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit, he is my protector. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, save you, preserve, and protect you in His Holy Catholic and Apostolic and Eastern Orthodox Church. Amen. Christ is risen. Truly, He is risen.